Hi, my name's Peter. This is Stacks and Facts, my channel, and I'm super excited because it is the Project for Awesome. Now, if you haven't heard about what Project for Awesome is, uh, you can go to www.projectforawesome.com where you can vote for this video and you'll see why in a second. Um, but the long and the short of it is basically the Project for Awesome is a few days every December where internet nerds of all size and shape and color and variety come together and make videos about things that they care about. And the thing that I care about that I'm making a video about is called Libraries Without Borders. Now, if you're a subscriber to my channel, this probably comes as no surprise to you. All I do is make library propaganda. Uh, but today I wanted to focus on a very specific organization, Libraries Without Borders, because they do some amazing work uh, for people who really need help. Now they have three areas of focus that they really focus on. One is providing library services and information services to folks who are confronted with humanitarian crises. Uh, this could be due to natural disasters uh, or folks who are basically refugees, folks who have been displaced because of conflict. They also provide services that help give people like this access to information and education and culture. Um, whether or not they are refugees or if they're folks in developing countries, you know, countries that don't have necessarily broad access to technology. And the final thing that they really focus on is helping to enable entrepreneurship for social change. Now, what this means is basically giving folks uh, who could use the help a little bit of access to information and resources so that they can go into business for themselves. And by doing that, you know, they help give people access to capital. And if there's one thing I've learned from capitalism, it's that money talks. So that's what Libraries Without Borders does. Now, one of the things that they do that's really cool, that really stands out, and I'm gonna talk to you about it for a second, is called the Idea Box. Now, what is so cool about the Idea Box is it is basically a portable media center that's put together uh, based on the needs of a specific community in a specific region. And so what they do is they will fill it with technology and books and equipment that are all appropriate for the circumstances uh, of the people who are going to be receiving it. So that doesn't just mean, you know, access to Wikipedia, uh, but that means access to Wikipedia in perhaps the target language. That means access to literature that is culturally relevant uh, versus, say, just giving them a bunch of books in English. That doesn't necessarily serve anyone's needs if they don't speak English, you know? And so by doing that, it's really a great way to give a, a concentrated boost uh, to a community. Um, but man, Libraries Without Borders does so much good work and that's why I'm so super excited to make a video supporting them for Project for Awesome. Now, if you are sold on them as much as I am, you can go vote for my video so that they might receive some of this money from the Project for Awesome at uh, www.projectforawesome.com. Libraries are life-changing for everyone, not just for folks who have been displaced by natural disaster or man-made disaster, but even in your local community. Libraries are great, and I'm so excited that there is an organization out there that's working on providing for the information needs of people, no matter where they are, no matter what their circumstances. And so if we can support them, I'm all for it. So that's all I've got. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to vote. And until next time, don't forget to ask questions. All right.